Hey guys, Ryan from Spiker Workshop. Hopefully you guys can hear me over all this machinery running. Um, I wanted to make a quick video, kind of an overview on this injection molding machine that I use. It's from robotdig.com. And I've been using it for almost two years now. It has quite a few custom modifications. Um, but overall the machine is like amazing. You can see it's outputting the parts right now. It's doing some sprockets. But I bought this machine from Robot Dig through email and it took them about a month to build it for me. And then they shipped it here via FedEx. It was actually really fast shipping times. Once they shipped it, it was like at my garage in like three days. I don't even know how they got it here that quick. But the machine works really well. It's really overbuilt. A lot of really thick, heavy duty metal components. And kind of a quick overview of how it all works is um, this whole unit here is what heats up the plastic and you control it from a touch screen here. So to get it started you can move it back and forth. So you have it back while it's preheating and then you load pellets into it and then when you get your mold all set up um, depending on your mold thickness you can adjust it through the touch screen. There's a, actually a really huge stepper motor with a chain drive on the back here. So all four of these nuts will turn. So the whole clamp mechanism can move forward and backwards. Um, I haven't measured the actual distance it can move, but I can fit molds up to about almost two inches thick. These are some of my molds here. But then once you have your mold set up, you can bring the machine forward so the nozzle actually hits where it injects the plastic. And then on the back end here, you can see how it moves forward. It uses, the, the whole machine runs on air. So as it injects, the screw will push the plastic into your mold. And you can set on here the 28 is how many millimeters that that device is reading. So you can adjust how much plastic is preloading. Um, they made it really simple to use actually. And this particular machine can do a 30 gram shot size, which sounds small, but you need a lot of force and pressure to be able to, to inject plastic like this. And here's some of the stuff that I've been working on here. So I have molds made for all these parts. So 30 grams sounds small, but this is the biggest thing I've been able to make with it so far. There are tracks for like a remote control uh, snowcat. But with 30 grams, I would split the molds into two parts. So one mold creates the link and then the other mold creates the pad that gets screwed on. So you can do a lot with just 30 grams. Like these, these things are huge. Then I also did ones without the pad. And then I've also done like chain sprocket uh, gears or sprockets. And here's one of the molds here. So I use uh, just a CNC mill to cut out the molds. So if, if you're someone into doing like, like if you have a Tormach or some kind of CNC that's capable of metal work, this is like a really good investment because you can make really simple molds in house and you know cast your own parts. Um, I myself sell everything that I make with this machine. So for me personally, it's like a, a really good business asset. And then uh, here's some of the plastics that I've used before. I mainly use Delrin, which is like a form of acetal. Really strong stuff, and I've 
I found the right combination to get really good results in molding. Like, all these parts are just really, really strong and, and good. So, you can adjust temperatures and stuff depending on what plastic you're using. And it's a th there's three heaters in there. The heaters are, are basically just ceramic like this. You can see up underneath here. So it heats up the plastic like in three separate zones just so it can get up to temperature. And then uh, I've done extra things that I think you can order through Robot Dig. Like I added mold heating, which I think they offer, but I didn't know that when I bought this at the time. And then I also added a, um, an Arduino in here to kind of assist with the full auto features. But I believe that they added that since I bought this. So you'll have to, to ask them for you know more, more current up-to-date stuff on it. And yeah, that, that pretty much covers like the overview. If you have a, a CNC mill, you kind of need one of these machines because you can do so much with it. There's a, one, one other thing to talk about is the, um, the actual setup that holds the molds. I custom tailored it to like to be universal like all my molds are four inches wide and then I can go four six eight or twelve inches um, across like this is like an eight inch mold and then I got a lot of like mostly four inch molds and then they all need like some sort of ejector pin setup so on the back here this air cylinder this is all stuff that like you have to make, but the machine comes with the ejector, but you need to make it like work with whatever mold you're doing, you know. You see it? It's kinda hard to see, but it it's basically like on mine, I just made a simple plate. So when the part opens up, this plate just pushes the piece out through those four holes there. So you know all that stuff's up to your own molds. But if you have a CNC mill, it's really easy to like get like a, a kind of like standard mold setup going on in there. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about the machine or are interested in buying one, feel free to contact me. You can either you know ask me a question on this YouTube video or email me at spiker.sales at hotmail.com. And I can help you, you know, get questions answered and connect you over to Robot Dig and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.